Hi, I'm Dr. Halland, a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm interested in swallowing disorders. As an esophageal physician, I see many patients who have difficulty swallowing their food due to a narrowing in their esophagus. Typically, narrowings in the esophagus can occur after esophageal surgery, after radiation therapy, but also because of allergic and autoimmune disorders. Many people find that an upper endoscopy with a dilatation procedure can help their swallowing. But in some patients, repeated upper endoscopies are needed to maintain the opening required for successful swallowing. Repeated upper endoscopies can become challenging, frustrating, and are also associated with high costs and high risks. So we've looked into a better treatment method here at Mayo Clinic. And what we have found is that in patients with refractory benign esophageal strictures, meaning a narrowing in the esophagus, that we can offer them a new treatment which involves teaching patients how to dilate their own esophagus. And whilst this so may sound challenging, we actually use a very simple medical device such as this dilator here. And we gradually teach patients how to manage their own esophageal narrowing. And we found this treatment to be successful and that patients are able to learn this and therefore many patients are able to stop having upper endoscopies and in many instances feeding tubes that have been required to get food into the gastrointestinal tract can be removed. So we are encouraging patients who are having difficulty swallowing because of a narrowing in their esophagus to consider coming to a clinic for an assessment to see whether you may be a candidate to, to learn self-dilation therapy. We also have a trial open for this therapy at Mayo Clinic. Thank you for watching this video.